Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here with Camper Killer Commentary number 23. And today, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk about something that completely blows my mind. A little physical property of the universe that physicists have come to call the Cosmological Constant. Here within the three-dimensional confines of our reality, we have laws that remain constant throughout space and time. Everything from the distribution of mass to the speed of light and the passage of time can be better understood and calculated using these constants. But in 1917, Albert Einstein discovered a new constant to our universe that determined the value of the density of energy within the vacuum of space. And though this new constant was hypothetical in nature, he used it to complete his theory of relativity. But in 1928, the famous astronomer known as Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding, and this gave Einstein reason to trash his discovery of the cosmological constant. Throwing it away, he dubbed it his greatest blunder. But decades later, in 1998, it's discovered space is expanding at an accelerated rate, and this revives the need for Einstein's equations of a non-zero cosmological constant to explain the accelerated expansion of our universe. So if the universe has dozens of constants, why does the cosmological constant blow my mind? Because unlike other constants, the cosmological constant is so fine-tuned that any altering of it would totally destroy our universe. Every single constant in our universe can be altered 10%, 20%, 30%, and still do a good job at keeping things together, but not the cosmological constant. While most constants are tuned to the 1%, the cosmological constant is tuned to one part in the 10 to the 120. That's 120 decimal places, or a point followed by 123 zeros, ending in a 1. And just in case you missed the gravity of that number, let's take a look at what it means. If you were to take a ruler the length of the entire observable universe, that's 16 billion light years wide, now choose one inch on that ruler and call it the cosmological constant. Now any other constant of our universe could move left or right on that ruler, billions of light years, trillions of inches, without causing disorder to the laws of our universe. But not the cosmological constant. If its value moved just one inch in any direction, the universe as we know it would cease to exist entirely. That's the one which is really on the knife edge. It is on such a narrow knife edge that it's almost inconceivable if you were to change it just the tiniest, tiniest bit, we couldn't be here. Uh, the actual magnitude of it is incredibly small. So if it were just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger than this 0 .0000000, it would have prevented our existence. What's the chance of this value appearing within the laws of your universe? Well, the world-famous mathematician John Lennox explains it as such. Picture a billion stacks of dimes, each stack as wide as Russia and stacked to the moon. Now take one dime and name it the cosmological constant. Randomly hide it somewhere in all those dimes. Then get a friend to pretend he's the universe, blindfold him and let him pick a dime and hope he picks out the cosmological constant. You know damn well your friend ain't gonna pick out that dime. The chance of that happening is functionally zero. We're talking a magnitude of 10 to the 120. That's roughly the chance of winning every lottery there ever was without cheating. But nonetheless, if he doesn't pick that dime, we don't exist. Yet physics says somehow our universe did this. While theologians are blaming God and going off to church, physicists are hoping it's not and invoking the multiverse. The multiverse. Science had to invent an infinite amount of universes to explain away the cosmological constant. The multiverse. Infinite use. Infinite means. Infinite possibilities in infinite realities. As the story goes, if we have infinite universes, the chance of one as rare as ours is bound to happen. But for it to happen, there has to be an almost infinite amount of realities where it didn't happen. But how satisfying is the multiverse as an answer to the problem of the cosmological constant? Well, even Richard Dawkins acknowledges the words of John Leslie, the professor of philosophy, who offers us this analogy. Imagine you're a blindfolded man sentenced to death in front of a 10-man firing squad. All the guns go off. Not a single bullet hits you. But you shouldn't freak out and assume some divine interaction. After all, 
In infinite universes, they did hit you. You were just lucky this time. Thanks for watching. Peace. 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 Peace.